All right, y'all, we are live with another episode here at the Women's MTV Network podcast. Today, we have Emma Olofsson on the podcast. You all know her as Mermaider. She is a kick-ass free rider hailing from Sweden, but now living in New Zealand. Uh, I believe, and I'm going to ask her this question, I believe she came across mountain biking while on holiday in New Zealand and then just stayed forever which is not a best place to live, if you ask me. <laughs> we all know her for her stees, her flow, her jumps, the amazing clothes she wears on the trails. And I'm going to try not fangirl a little too much because uh, I am a big fan. So uh, I want to welcome Emma on real quick. Here we go. Let's bring her on. Here Hi. Is. How are you? So good. How are you? Good, man. I am so, so, so to you are joining us on the podcast. I think this is like, I'm totally like, I know we we're talking backstage, but I'm like totally fangirling. Like I can't. I just... <laughs> well, I'm stoked to be here and I <laughs> love talking more than biking, I think. so. Really? Well, we're going to get along yeah, great then. <laughs> yesterday, me and Luis, uh, we went on a bike ride and I think we were out riding for three hours, but we just did one lap. Uh, because we were just talking all the time. <laughs> well, it must have been a good conversation if you're just talking the whole time anyway. I mean, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys we leaving soon for seven months. So mm. we're like, okay, we have to catch up on this and this and, this <laughs> and, that. and a lot of gossip. So I have, she has more info. I have more info about just everything we need to Anything know. Anything you could share with us? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just yeah, kidding. just bad, th bad things about mountain bikers. I might start my own podcast. <gasps> you totally and, should. And, well, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> Who cares? But, 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 you know. <laughs> you know, some people need to be put not on I blast. know. I think some people need to, like, simmer down a little bit. You know That's what, what we were thinking. Maybe, like, if people get punished, maybe they become better people. <laughs> I think there needs to be some kind of standard in this industry to an extent. So I'm with you guys there. If that's something you were talking about, I don't know if it was, but yeah, that's something. Where we are. <laughs> you are fresh out of crankworks. And is this the first crankworks you've participated in? Uh, yeah, it is. How actually. was that? I, and I only really did whip off an air DH. Oh, I did I did air DH in Whistler actually last year, but okay. it was raining. Like I don't know. I just stopped on the side of the trail and we did a party lap with the girls. So you know, I don't know. Awesome. <laughs> it wasn't, That's wasn't so awesome. really like yeah. But um, it was so good. Like the whip off was so much fun. Uh, best day ever. Actually, it was such a good day. Uh, and the jump felt good. The vibes were good. All the girls were just shredding and it was so sick to like, oh. yeah, ride. Yeah, it was just great. That's so amazing. How did it feel doing those jumps, those whip offs and like crank works? First time women are competing in slope style too. That, but the vibe must have been insane. Yeah, it was so good. And a lot of people asked me if I was going to do slope style and uh, I'm not, you know, I kind of just ride my downhill bike a lot. So I'm not okay. so confident small bike yet but it would be really fun to do it because really what I like doing is jumps and tricks and stays really but even more <laughs> more stuff to ride and it takes so much time to train for all of everything so I have yeah. to think okay what what do I want to do but um I do like riding my downhill bike on jumps and yeah um I kind of just want to do more whip-offs <laughs> I Your progression is insane. Yeah, it's so good. Like, that's definitely my favorite kind of riding. Just like nice, smooth, big jumps. No breaking bumps. No broken berms. It's just smooth. I heard from someone the other day told me that you don't have brakes on your bike. Is that true? Someone's like, she doesn't have brakes on her bike. And I'm like, that's impossible. She's got to have no. brakes on her bike. <laughs> no, I love brakes. Okay. I have brakes on all of my bikes. Even yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what bike are you on right now? I know you're riding for YT. Are you on one of their crazy sick downhill bikes? Yes, yeah, so, uh, that's probably like the bike that I use the most is my 2S, um, which is the downhill bike, um, yeah. 27 inch wheels, and yeah, 
Um, I just always keep my suspension like pretty stiff and slow because I can't be bothered changing it you know, between like bike park and jumps. It's just pumping up the suspension. I'm like, uh, it's so tiring. So I just <laughs> rock solid. And um, yes, yeah, so I have that. I, I just changed my old trail bike, like the Jeff C. That is like a 29er trail bike. I changed it to a yep. slope bike. So we put on, I didn't do it. Bikeaholic did it because I don't like to do bike stuff myself. Like Fair I enough. like to ride my bikes, but I don't like the mechanics. Um, but yeah, we put 26 inch wheels on that bike and we removed one brake. We removed the front brake so that I could learn bar spins on it. And um, that's my next trickle, I think, bar spins. So uh, yeah, we have that. I have a new Jeff C 29er trail bike and I have a dirt love hardtail bike and uh yeah that, that's well, no, no big deal. You just have like three bikes. Hold on. I'm still stuck on the fact that you turned a trail bike into a downhill bike. Yeah, into did like I a hear that right? slope bike into like slope bike. So well, and I mean, uh, yeah, Jeff- I mean, it's fine. It's really so the Jeff C is like yeah, 29er low travel trail bike. I think it's like 140 150 mil suspension. And so I thought uh, instead of getting rid of a bike, I'll just change it so that I have another bike to ride. Um, and yeah, so we put on small wheels on it. So the bike is very low to the ground, but I mean, it's, I'm just going to ride jumps on it. So it's fine. And it feels really good. And we just pumped up the suspension really hard, like, like pr- probably to the max actually. And I think we didn't really change anything else. Um, yeah, just the what- bar spin sort of set up. Yeah. And- yeah, what for it feels you pretty good in there. You kept a 150 in the front, or did you change like to a 160, 170? No, yeah, 150 in the front, or I don't know. I, I think it's 150, or is it 160? I'm not sure. I think it is 150. Uh, yeah, I think the yeah. Jeff C is 150. I think yeah, 150, I think so. 145. Yeah, I'm looking at yeah. it right now. No, just kept the uh, yeah, just kept the same things because um. That's what I have. I don't want to buy any more stuff. Um, uh, so, yeah, I think it works good. Yeah, no, I totally it get it. It kind of feels like a dirt jumper, but just, yeah, like a dirt jumper mixed with the mountain bike, which I'm more used to. Like yeah. my dirt jumper, I could have ridden that, but it's just so small. And like the seat isn't where it would be on a like a normal mountain bike. Mm-hmm. So then I'm like, oh, I don't know if you... I can't do suey like on my dirt jumper because I'm like the seat is like it's not there. So I'm like, okay, we'll change this trail bike. So it's kind of like a dirt jumper, but not really. So <gasps> that's insane. That's absolutely insane that you did like a trail bike into like a I mean it's probably good for training though, right? Like is that do you find that that's gonna be your training bike? Yeah. 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 So I think it'll be good to have it instead of getting rid of it. Just change it. I didn't I just need a new wheels. And that's it. That's insane. What size bike are you on right now? Do you ride a medium or a small? Yeah, medium. Okay. That one maybe would have been better if it was a size small, but I mean, I already had medium, so. I mean, it's such personal preference. I always tell people, they ask me about sizing and I, I mean, I'm 5'4 and like 163 millimeters, centimeters. Yeah. And I always yeah. think I'm a small, but recently I've enjoyed medium bikes a little bit better and I just like the stability and I still find it playful. So for me, like that works yeah. really well. Yeah, I'm 171, I think. So like five, You're tall. five eight. So medium is good. Like small yeah. is too small. Yeah. The small would be too small. <laughs> too small. <laughs> that no, would be I'm a dirt jumper. Small. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So you um I want to go back just a little bit. You did a video recently, I think it was on International Women's Day, where you did your your tips for progression. And I kind of want to share that with folks right now. I'm going to share my screen so people can kind of see it. Um, where is it? Share screen. You're, I'm going to go on your Instagram real quick. And there's this video where you talk about how you went from beginner to pro in five years, yeah. which is absolutely yeah. insane. These clips, like I started writing seven, eight years ago, probably eight years ago. 
uh but those clips from the start were five years ago so yeah and i, was I mean it, that's when you started to want to jump right i mean i'm always i'm gonna admit i'm a little scared to uh, get my wheels off the ground i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but uh, i've been riding for a long time so your progression really is five years this is absolutely insane and i love the advice you give here ride with people that are better than you like that yeah. is key. I it's, found that yeah. the only way to progress. Yeah, a hundred percent. You have to like, uh, I always like, I started running with my brother and he was also a beginner, but he was just like, I don't know. He had, he dared to do more like, um, features and stuff. So he would push me to do like whatever he was doing. Or if, if, he, if he thought I couldn't do it, he'd be like, mm, I don't know, maybe don't do it. But if you feel comfortable, you know, and yeah. sometimes you're like, don't you want to, you know, just do it. You want, don't you want to be the first girl to like do this or do that? And yeah. I'm like, yeah, he's like, okay, do it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So that was really good. And um, yeah, I always just rode with people that are a bit better than me. I just been hanging out and I rode with my friend Matteo last week and he, I used to ride with him a lot five years ago and he really helped me a lot as well. Because he's like really, really, really good rider. And so he, I think he was like, okay, do a one hander, do a tie grab, do a no footer, just do it, do it, do it. I'm like, I don't wanna. He's like, do it, do it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then I did it. And so, you know, you need people that pushes you, but not too much. Like, I remember also uh, people were saying, like, oh, you should ride Dreamline. And this was like, I don't know, four years ago or something. I'm like, uh, I don't know. They're like, no, you got it. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. I'm like, you guys are pushing me too much. And if I hit it 100%, I would have not made it because I had, I had like the downhill bike with this spring in the suspension and I had an yeah. extra soft spring in the fork and extra soft in the rear. And mm. I was running, I used to run like 14 PSI probably front and rear because I didn't understand any, I didn't understand anything about bikes. Like, right. Uh, and I'm like, no, that's not good even when i hit it for the first time my suspension and rebound was not good for it uh and i had a crash on it and and then i learned about suspension and um pressure and rebound and yeah everything and i'm like makes so much more sense now so i think yeah i think i also put that in the in the description like a tip how, like learn yeah. about suspension because it really changed my jumping so yeah. much and my confidence. Like I can trust my bike. So that's key. Yeah, that's key. Cause it is in your head, but it's also like trusting your bike is key. You do, you say here before understanding, uh, like learn about the things, uh, how your bike is set up, uh, suspension, how it affects you getting bucked off the bike and learning about yeah. rebound. Like that is key, especially for your weight too like different size riders need to learn about how that affects them when they're riding and i think yeah. you're absolutely right that's key is suspension yeah and like 100%. sometimes for like jumps people are like oh you have to break a little but then you need to remember like if they are bigger than you they're gonna have more speed than you so yeah. like for the whip off jump in vertera like no one really said break but I was like, I'm not breaking no matter what anyway. And at the end, it was perfect. Like, for whatever it is, I'm like, no, I think for me, I know that I don't have a problem overshooting. Yeah. So I just, yeah. So knowing, yeah, if you are lighter, you're going to want to go, like, faster. Yeah. Because you're going to roll slower. Yeah. And I mean, and that I think applies to everything. Like even if you're riding tech, steep techie trails, like you need to really understand your suspension there too. Uh, and your body yeah. positioning, how you're going down and how to like recoup when you flatten out. Yeah. It's all really incredibly important. Um, so you started your MTV journey eight years ago with your brother. Is that right? You were saying, or he was he just the one that was pushing you? Yeah. I so the first time I tried it, I don't know when it was when it was. Yeah. How Doesn't matter. I'm to say, but yeah, like uh we tried it he my dad my my brother was like just playing video games and world of warcraft on the computer all the time and he didn't really do anything <laughs> else um and my dad was like you need to get a life like go outside and he's like well there's nothing to do and seriously there's nothing to do where we're from 
my whole yeah. my whole youth i was so bored um and my hobby was also in like sit inside watch makeup tutorials uh practice doing my makeup uh buy stuff on the internet <laughs> So uh, something yeah. to do. Anyway, and then <laughs> my brother had seen like downhill mountain biking online, so we tried it uh, at a bike park that's like two, two hours, maybe two, three hours from where our parents' house is. Mm -hmm. And um, me, my mom, and my brother tried it, and uh, yeah, that was the first time. So that was probably ten years ago, I'd say. Uh, and I really liked it. Um, but yeah, it's Sweden's just so flat. I lived in Malmo, which is the which is like a big city in the south of Sweden, and it's just mm -hmm. like the whole Sweden is flat, really. There's no really mountain biking scene there unless you go yeah. up north. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I lived there for a few years, and I didn't really ride much. A little bit over summers, um, and then. Yeah, and then I moved to Australia. Just I don't know. I I just moved there. My friend was going, and I was like, "I'll go there. Why not? I'm bored of my life here." <laughs> um, and then it was pretty fun, but also I was a bit bored in Australia. I lived on the Gold Coast, and I just went to the beach, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's boring." Uh -huh. You know, yeah, nothing to. I I don't know. I there was, and I just started like traveling, so I wasn't. I don't know. I'm I'm a better traveler now, so I could find yeah. more things to do, and I would get more shit done and I was young and I didn't have a car or anything so uh but yeah and then I went to New Zealand and um I did a ski season here and it was so fun like and I'd never skied before <laughs> even though I'm from Sweden but like like in the south it's flat and yeah it's just snow hills so yeah I did a ski season and I worked up Coronet Peak for winter and it was nice. so fun like I had the best time it was just like and I learned how to ski pretty quickly because I just skied every day and I don't like being bad at things. Like if I like to do something, then I might as well do it good. Like, yeah. There you go. Um, That's, I agree. Yeah. And then, and then I got a bike after and it was my brother who he, I was just staying in Queensland for like three more months, I think. Cause I'd been mm -hmm. in the country for nearly a year already. And mm -hmm. then he was like, Oh, I found this bike. It's just a thousand dollars. So, you know, if you don't even sell it in three months, whatever, it's, it's like so cheap. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll buy it. And then, and then, yeah. And then we just started riding bikes all the time. And, and then we stayed in New Zealand for longer. And we, me and my brother went to Sweden to ride. That's where mm -hmm. like the first clip in that video you showed yeah. us from. Um, and, uh, and then just yeah did summer here summer in sweden summer back here and then summer in europe also with my brother um and then That's i went amazing. back here but he stayed in sweden but yeah does so does your brother ride too like the same kind uh, of style as you he likes jumps flow tech or oh, not tech but you know no, he he kind of stopped riding because he was he visited uh, me here last year Mm -hmm. And he was riding, but he didn't really like it so much anymore. And also, he kept crashing all the um, time. And so he was like, "It's not worth it. Like, I'm I'm hurting myself too much." Um, yeah. But he kind of likes more tech, I'd say, downhill yeah. bike park tech. But yeah, it's just because he tried to like. I'm like, he lives to like where we're from now, uh, and it's you can't. There's no mountain biking there. Like it's. Yeah, it's, it's flat, flat. You were saying there's it's, nothing. Yeah, but like you, you, you can't even find a little hill. Like, uh, so um, yeah, he he kind of stopped riding, and then when he came here, he kept riding. Like he was going faster than me, and I'm like, yeah, but I've been riding like every day for years, and like I'm just chilling. I don't want to crash. Like, and he just like had to go faster and had to do all the features, and then he crashed. I'm like, yeah, but and then yeah, so he was, was he like, okay? Stop riding. Yeah, he's okay. I don't know what it was happening. He hurt his back or something, or his, and yeah, he just thought it wasn't worth it. But Damn. I'm like, yeah, it's not. And then he was here last summer, and oh my god, it was so dry. It was such a dry summer, and the bike park last year did not have much maintenance. It was pretty not good <laughs> to be <laughs> polite. I thought it was fucking shit actually, but yeah. Uh, and also, it was the. <laughs> It was the old gondola and it was so every lap took like an hour. An hour for a dry, bumpy 
lap. Like, no. ew. Yeah, so it was just like a bad season. The season before that was the best season ever. The bike park was mint. No, like every trail had like um, a rebuild and the borders were still closed. They were only open to Australia. So there weren't a lot of people here yeah. and there was more like moisture in the dirt. So it was perfect. Like I was just like, I just wanted to ride bike park all day, every day, nothing else. And then, and then the year after was like, uh, the worst year ever probably for a bike park and that's when my brother was here and he was like oh I don't really think it's that fun anymore I'm like yeah but it's because you have to wait in line for an hour and then you're riding like dry bumpy stuff and but the yeah. day before he left and he was like I'm done riding now I'm like no my friends are going um they're riding a new trail that just opened it's called carry on on Coronet Peak mm -hmm. and I'm like it just opened you need to ride it with them I I don't know why I wasn't riding either I was I don't know. I wasn't riding anyway. I think my bikes were in the bike shop. That's yeah. Both my bikes were in the bike shop getting built. And um, anyway, he went riding this new trail. And when he came back, he's like, oh, my God, that was so much fun. I'm like, <laughs> I know, like a fresh, nice trail, like how it's meant to be. Or like, you know, when when stuff's been maintained. So I'm like, it is still fun. So don't yeah. think it's not fun. It's just that yeah. it's just that you experience like, I don't know, bad conditions. And it's, you know, same if it would be raining every day. It's yeah, I mean, sometimes that isn't fun. And that's what mountain biking is about. You know, it's just you're having fun. And if he's not, then I get it. Yeah, I, don't, I get it yeah. for sure. Um, we got... I think he only has a downhill bike here as well. So he could mm. only really ride bike park. So it's like if you had a trail bike, you could have ridden something else. Like most people that live here, you know, you ride bike park early in the season. Yeah. And then you have a break and you ride other stuff because it's just too blown out. And then now you start riding bike park again because the trails are good. A lot of people have left. So like the trails stay in better condition. So, How long is the park bike park season there? Uh, it's like eight months. What? The, yeah. Yeah. It's like the best place ever. So it's so sick to have a bike park that's open for that long. And I think that's also like everyone that rides here. We're so like, we're so good, but it, the bike park is open for so long. Like we have so much time to ride and there's so much to ride and it's just great. So maybe yeah, I should go to New Zealand September. for a year. Yeah, I it's just so good. And everyone that's here, like every year, more and more people come here and everyone loves it. It's dang. Yeah. New Zealand. I just wish I just wish I could buy a house here and then I'd be it's just so, too expensive. But I guess it's too expensive everywhere. But, everywhere, dude. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere that you want to live. It's all the fun places. It's too expensive. Yeah. All the places you want to be at. Yeah. Oh man. Ah, eight months. That's insane. And I thought California was good. We have a bike park here. It's a small park. It's an enduro park. So you got to pedal to the top. So e-bikes are the shit. Um, but that's open like 12 months a year, as long as it doesn't snow. Yeah. So, you know, well, I mean, that's really good. Yeah, it doesn't. It's Five got I think about seven different trails. Yeah, that's where I met Fred actually from Etnies. He's always there. Speaking of, you got some freshies the other day. Yeah. I saw on your stories. I got some freshies. Ooh, those are nice. Oh, what did you are, get? How good are fresh shoes? Okay, I'll, I know. I'll get these. I have them here because I have this um, shoe. I have this really small room. It's like a sleep out. So I keep all my shoes in a green in a greenhouse outside of my room, but it has shrunk my shoes because it's so hot in there. So it is. Some shoes have like one pair of my Crocs are like so small now because they've shrunk, and some nope. of my riding shoes have shrunk too in like some bits. So it's so nice to have freshies, and I'm not keeping them out there. So yeah. I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna keep them in the main house. But yeah, I got I got these Ooh. that I rode in yesterday. Amber. They're flats, right? Yeah, of course. I never ever rode uh, cliffs. <laughs> um, and so these, I feel like, will be really good for like downhill laps and trail riding. Yeah. And I, because my favorites are the Brendan Stemenuk shoes. So I think they're really good for jumps because the sole is like a bit softer. I like to feel yeah. my pedal. Uh, but I got these. Um, uh, Emil Johansson. It's funny when I say Swedish names. In, in English, because even how would you say it name, in Swedish? Uh, Emil Johansson, and 
That's awesome. But you, yeah. And then <laughs> my name, I can't even say my last name the correct way in English because I'm like, my, my name is Emma Olofsson. But if I say it in English, it's Emma Olofsson. Like I can't. Yeah. Olofsson. So yeah. But these are, okay. yeah, that uh, Emil Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pro model. And they look so good. They kind of look like the Brendan Semnex shoes, but with the high top. And I think the the sole looks kind of like the um, the Brendan Semenuk one. Yeah. And um, yeah, I really like these. I'm super stoked. Well, I haven't tried them riding yet, but I really like the look of them. So I think these will be my new favorites. I have a pair of the red ones. I don't have them close by. I have so many shoes too. And those are high tops and I really liked them. But the, I had a yeah. crash uh, in December and I kind of just washed out. It's like super kitty litter sand. And I hit my ankle to like right on the point where at the high tops right here would hit the corner of your ankle. And I cannot wear them anymore because I have like this huge bruise under my foot that's still there. So, oh, so it pushes on. And I love those shoes because they're the Michelin sole. So they're super grippy. Um, so then Fred sent me these because I, I'm going to start demoing clipped pedals. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're going to stop talking then. <laughs> <laughs> You know no. what? It's Magped. It's Magped pedals. Okay. I was. I would like to. I would like to try it. Actually, like, I mean, I think it's really good for tech. I. I think it's yeah. probably pretty good for tech. Like, uh. So I wanted to try it, and like, a few years ago, I was gonna, just like, ah, oh, maybe I should try clips, and also I kind of wanted to cheat, learn suics by getting clips. <laughs> that was a big reason, and then I was like. I should just learn it properly. And it's That's pretty not easy. Cheating. So it's well, if you're clipped in, you know, your bike can't drop. Yeah. If you no, do, take it. your hand. I get it. So, <laughs> you're braver than I am. I and wouldn't now do that. I'm like, yeah, it's like, it's not, well, it is cheating a little bit. So, but um, yeah, but it seems pretty good. I just like, yeah. well, I don't know. What I right now, I just need, uh, I need, just need. With what I ride now, I just need flats anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, I my fear is always that I'm not going to clip out in time or put my foot down in time. So I don't usually ride clips. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, but there are people that maybe really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, like when you get used to it. Um, I don't know. We'll see how, we'll see how the, the Magped pedals do. I'm going to try those out when I come back from Europe in a few weeks. Um, so speaking of like awesome brands that you're repping. We talk about Etnies. Um, you're always so freaking decked out. I love it. I love watching you ride because you're always wearing the coolest shit. So I know yeah. Pit Viper is one, right? You're, yeah. you're connected with Pit Viper. Loose Riders? Yeah. And yeah, that was my first right? sponsor, actually, probably four years ago. Really? Loose Riders? Yeah. That's awesome. Very on um, brand. <laughs> Yeah, very on, Viper I was, very on brand. I'm going to share my screen again because I saw you wearing something at um, recently at Crankworks. And I was like, homegirl is like banging right now. There is yeah. this, where was it? This right here, this kit that you were wearing looks so freaking cool. Yeah, I felt like I wanted something bright that would look good in photos. And, uh, and also if you see photos, it's easy to see who you are. Yeah. And so you don't have to go through every photo. You just look for pink t-shirt <laughs> and the new zebra pants are so good. I love them. Pretty rock and roll. It's so smart, um, dude. It's and so it smart. And it matches my helmet perfectly. Yeah. So it does. Yeah. That's insane. So this is your loose riders outfit. What's a fun pit viper one that you've got going on? trying to find um one. i mean you're always probably not much shit. on my instagram because because i ride for loose riders so i try to yeah just about that but i am um, i ha i wear my pit viper sports denim pants all the time all yeah. the time I'll, sh I'll show them um it's awesome yeah like these pants are so good uh they're super stretchy, so they're nice. just super comfortable, good for everything. You look hot in them. They're like cargo pants, kind of. Um, and um, 
yeah, nice with the crop top. I gave a pair to my to my other friend Emma uh, because I had two pairs and one was a size too big, so mm -hmm. I didn't use them. And she lives in them; she loves them as well. Sharing <laughs> and, is caring. Uh, I'm like, I know they're so good, so really good. Like, yeah, denim pants, but really functional because they're stretchy. And I yeah. have so many foot diapers, sunglasses uh, everywhere. Oh my god. The Pit Viper so crew are insane. Yeah, I love Pit. They're just all so nice and so funny. And, yeah. and now I'm so stoked that they have so many really sick, like, sunglass styles. I love the do. admirers. Do I have some here as well? Yeah, and these ones are cool. These are some some new ones that I really like that they made. Like, the, the, the originals are really good for writing, like the big ones. But... Mm -hmm. You might not always want to get that much attention. So yeah, they made like these fondues, which are nice, like cat eye, just like That's hot awesome. bitch kind of vibe. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> or you feel like an angel, heart shaped. <gasps> I love heart shaped sunglasses. I always been a big fan of it. And, um, and these, when I first got these, I was like, oh, I'm not going to like them. And I put them on and I'm like, oh my God, I love them. Those are like 90s. Those are like yes. 90s going back to my high school days. I'm aging myself now. Those were the <laughs> shit when I was in high school, like in 1997, 98, 99. Yeah, the I, they're just cool as fuck. So, um, <laughs> and I like this green color. It's like alien vibes. I love aliens. I feel like I'm probably an alien. Like I couldn't not have been like, I don't know. I'm just part human. So I really like these. That's and awesome. And I have them in black that I keep in my car always. And I keep my black heart shape pit vipers always in my car because my car is black. And I'm like, mm, yeah, these black vibes. Yeah, and, no, yeah, that's pretty so, bomb. So many sunglasses. Um, I want some of those heart shaped ones. We were at the Sedona Mountain Bike Fest a couple weeks ago and we were talking to the Pit Viper crew and they were in like the brightest kit. It was like pink yeah. and orange ombre. Those things were so sick. And yeah, you could I spot them from that, a mile that's away. That's the newest one. And they used to yeah. have like a pink with kind of like snow leopard or something. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, some, some pretty crazy kits. Yeah, they have some and crazy they have stuff. some new. They have a lot of new merch that's pretty, like vintage sort of look, like '90s American sort of. I really like that. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I love how the '90s now is vintage, and I'm like, no, it's that my glory I'm days. Ah! That means I'm <laughs> whatever. You're born in the '90s. That makes me feel so old right now. <laughs> well. Yeah, I, I'm starting to feel old. I'm like, or I don't, actually, no, I do not feel old. But I I feel that my age is starting to look kind of old. And I'm like, ah! old is just an, age is just a number. Like, it's literally just a number. I don't give a fuck how old yeah. I am. As long as you're having yeah, a good time, that's all that matters. Yeah, I just don't want to look old. I'm like pretty scared to look old. <laughs> well, you don't. But, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I was. So funny. I was hanging out with this little kid, Ronnie, seven years old. And he, um, I, w I think I asked him, how old are you? And he's like, seven. I'm like, okay. So I was like, so when were you born? And it was like 2018 or some shit. <laughs> and I'm like, or maybe 2016. Anyway, and then I was like, how old do you think I am? And he was like, in your 20s. I'm like, yeah, but like, how much? Like, what age? And he's like, mm hmm. 23 i'm like oh my god i love you <laughs> and i was like no i'm and i said my real age yeah and uh he's like what my teacher <laughs> is younger than you and she looks so much older than you Aww. you look like a teenager seriously yeah. i was like oh my god i love you even more <laughs> and he's hitting on you so it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah we hung out the whole weekend actually we went Bounce the bouncy castle and we got ice cream and he, he got a 69 jersey from me actually. Um <laughs> I was gonna give him a bad bitch club t shirt and then I was like yeah. oh he's seven so yeah probably don't know not. if the word bitch should be on his shirt. No so I'm like I 69 want one. is just a number. 
So I'm like, here. And he is loving it. So, so cute. How My can I get one friend. of those t-shirts? Uh, I can just send it to you. You just give me the address and I'll send one to you. I have some pink bad, well, the bad bitch club ones. I have some that I can send you. 69 jersey. They sell on Loose Riders website. And I'll I think that one is getting discontinued now because we have a new collection um, that is going to be released, I think, like tomorrow or like the next few days. So we have a new collection that I've been wearing the last year. So that's getting released this week. And we have, we're have we already working on a collection for next year, which what? has more of... Yep. So, uh, so that should be... Uh, ready like well it, that's going to be released in a year but I should I should have it um, soon you're so, going to be repping all of it are those new pants that you wear at Crankworks is that one of them uh, no but like the, the red tartan pants I was wearing like in Canada a lot this year so they are part of my collection that's being released now that's amazing so, dude. That's I'd already so worn them so much like so I was like I, I did bring my red kit to Crankworks but I was maybe going to do speed and style and I was going to wear that for speed and style, but I ended up not doing it because I didn't really vibe with the rhythm section. <laughs> the, there was enough. no rhythm <laughs> there for me. I just went, <laughs> and I, I was just moto whooping or whatever. So um, I was like, that's it. I'm, I'm, I had fun, but I'm giving up. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, um, I get it. So I didn't wear that kit, but yeah, I packed some good kits. <laughs> Um, switching gears real quick. We talked earlier about you getting on a smaller bike for you to practice and do tricks and stuff, right? Like the Jeff C. And I think yeah. someone asked here if you were riding a YT2 as, yeah, that's what, that's your downhill bike is a YT2 as, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so how often do you practice the tricks and is there a particular trick that took you the longest to kind of master, but now you can do with no problems? Um... I, tr I really like practicing new things because it gives me like, if I learn something new, I get so stoked and I feel like content with my day. And I feel like I did something, I learned something, I had a good day of riding. Like, um, so yeah, um, I don't know. Like, what was the challenging trick for you that? now you're really good at but took you a little bit to to hone down i mean probably no foot can i learned i learned it or whatever i did it for the first time when i was in canada like i don't know it was nearly two years ago now or a year and a half ago and i learned it actually pretty quick or like i did it pretty quickly like just within an hour i my feet were off they were off the side they were back on and um and then after that session, I was at the Nestor step up jump, best, best like step up jump ever, actually. Uh, I that's think, insane. yeah, that's like that jump. Is this it? This is, is this the trick you were this talking is, about? Where this, this is a year after. So I was still practicing it here, but I okay. learned it like, yes, yeah, so it was, you probably have to scroll a year back. I don't know. That's the, I just kit that's love going to be released. That's soon. insane. Are you Scottish? Because that kind of reminds me of like. No, but <laughs> I I wanted tartan pants because like it's I used to wear you know like punk vibes like yeah. a really being and so I had these leggings with the uh, tartan leggings and I'm like I really want to ride in these but I can't, like they're first of all my crack will be out because they're very low waisted and then <laughs> there's no like room for knee pads so I asked uh, uh, Louis Runners if they would do tartan pants. And uh -huh. they were really keen on the idea. So I'm stoked because I love it. That's um, awesome. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to find like a, a one of your uh, videos that has it. It's the further trick. down. I think further down. I ha I did cool. post a reel further down where it's like one more year. Or it depends what you're trying to find. I but, just keep getting distracted looking at all the amazing freaking things that you're doing. <laughs> like I just keep getting so distracted. Yeah, pretty pretty fun life. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, here we go. Oh no, yeah, that's no big deal. Yeah, I don't have them very dialed here, for example. So, but that's still bomb. Look at that. But depends like, also on what jump. That's kind of like yeah, not the easiest 
Well, it's like, no. uh, but yeah, I, pra- I learned it like yeah a year and a half ago, and then I kind of stopped doing it, and then I'd forgot when I tried to do a no foot can again, I just couldn't do it, and mm-hmm. I couldn't even like take my feet off because I never did like no footed stuff, and I'm like my only one foot is coming off, and it was so frustrating, and that was yeah. like probably like nearly a year ago. And I had a lot of free time. Like a year ago, it felt so good. I had so much time on my hands so I could ride. I had like a really good work ride balance. I like would mm-hmm. work every morning and wake up 7.30, work until one, go ride until five, uh, go home, make dinner, have a shower, work for another hour. Perfect. Every day. I need yeah. to get back into that. But yeah. And then I just like, uh decided i'm like no you have to learn no foot can this week you're doing it like and you're gonna do it good so i just did like okay just no footer and i just did no footers for one session and and then i got them and i was like okay i don't know what something clicked and i'm like now no footers yeah. are easy and That's then i was like awesome. can't do no footer with like tapping my toes together over the frame and i did that for a whole session because i'm like well i know that my feet are over the frame so i'm not gonna kick the frame which is like probably the i don't know probably the worst thing you could do if Mm -hmm. like messing up a no foot can and then the next day i was like okay now literally it's just throwing the feet over to the side and then i did it and first i kicked like my hands i was kicking way too like forward but yeah. yeah, I think that was like, it took me a while to actually get it pretty good. And still, I'm like a bit, I always, I still, before I do a no foot can on like a jump, I always first just start with tapping my toes. I'm like, okay, good. Now, next yeah. one you do. Just That's so cool. Like just seeing your progression and motivation too, which kind of goes hand in hand with that post you did where was it yeah. where you were giving advice right to like and find time to practice that was one of the things you yeah. wrote on here was film yourself so you can see what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right which is really important yeah. I think. and i do that all the time when i practice like yeah and, and i like to film myself and like not not someone get a clip because like these clips here it's just like i just put my phone on a rock and yeah. um like the ones from that step up jump to see what I was doing right and wrong. And I could see like when I started doing that Indian air kind of thing is what I call it. I don't know, not with the, just kicking your scissor kick. I don't know. I uh, was kicking the back wheel and then Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, so I know I need to like go higher up. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's just, it's really impressive, dude. Like totally, absolutely amazing. And I think everything you, every advice you give here is great, especially setting the weekly and monthly goals and what you want to do, how, like what it is. Fitness is critical. I think so too. A lot of people think mountain bikers don't work out or don't do anything. I think a lot of people do, especially just to stay strong. Yeah. Um, well, but, like all the racers, everyone, they go to the gym and whatever. I don't. I would like to go to the gym, <laughs> but I just feel like I'm so busy already and I have a lot of stuff to do. And yeah. if I stayed here over winter, I would go to the gym. But in summer, it's just so much. Of yeah. course, everyone has the same amount of hours in a day. I could do it, but I'm just not going to prioritize doing it. So why waste my money on a gym? Yeah, and that's completely but, fair. Like, but instead, you can go for pedal or you push like push up, whatever, when you push up for jumps or that's a different sort of yep. fitness as well. And uh, I do like fitness, even though mm-hmm. I don't I don't like pedaling up steep shit. <laughs> That's just so, yeah, I like, but I like even like going for a run. I'm like, I like running. It's fun and yeah. it makes you feel good after. And I try to be pretty healthy without, I mean, I still love sugar and stuff, but like I want to, <laughs> I, I just ate two cream filled donuts before this. Bless your I heart. I one and I'm like, <laughs> I want more. So, yeah. uh, the yeah. older you get, the sugar doesn't get so kind to you. Take it from me. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, genetics plays a big part in it too. Um, my wife is tall and skinny like you as well. She can eat whatever. So, I mean, it is. Yeah. It my, is. my dad and my dad's side of the family, they're pretty like on the smaller side. Like, uh, so I feel, I don't know. 
I don't eat much though. Like I eat um, maybe unhealthy stuff, but I I forget to eat all, the whole day, and then I've been like, oh shit, I how have eaten today. Wait, and how do you just, function? I don't know. Caffeine. I have coffee. In, I have a coffee in the mm -hmm. morning. Like okay. I need that, so I think that's how I function. But I'm like, I just feel like I'm so busy. I don't have time to eat. They're like always driving. And uh, I keep, I always keep these like snack balls in my car. Just like I need something. So I keep some yeah. snacks in my car because I know I'm going to forget to eat. Yeah. Uh, or I just like, mm, I'm not so hungry in the mornings either. Um, and then I start doing something at 12 and I'm like, shit, I'm hungry now. But anyway, I don't have time. <laughs> Don't have time. Shit to do. Bikes to ride. Yeah. Work to get to. Um, yeah. What is? Uh, I have some rapid fire questions. I'm going to ask you later. But one of my questions is, what trips do you have coming up? It's twenty. It's a new year, 2024. Yeah. What, what trips do you have? Trips. Yeah. Like, where are you riding? Where are you doing fun mountain biking stuff? I have not planned it so much, really. I was going. So I'm going to Thailand this weekend for two weeks and i was going to bring my bike but uh my my boss i was going to ride with him but he broke his femur actually so <laughs> oh dude yeah, that so... bone is no joke that is the hardest bone in your body to break yeah <laughs> i was like what are you serious he's like yeah that's why i'm in message you in a few days <laughs> i'm like Oh, okay. Oh, no. But but anyway, it's kind of nice because I am so excited to go on a trip and not bring my bike. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not, I want to bring it to ride it, but I don't want to drag it around. Yeah. I'm, it's so hard bringing a bike box everywhere, and it's not on the plane at the air like at the airports. That's fine, but it's from when you land. How are you going to get from there to wherever you're going? Yeah. And you can't stop. You can't do like a stopover anywhere because like. You have to drag around this bike box. And if, yeah, if you just have a backpack, yep. easy, you just go wherever you want to. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so I'm going to go there just for holiday and some work. And then I'm going to go to Gold Coast, get a tattoo. And, uh, and then back here in like on the, in mid April. And then just so keen to ride here um, for as long as the weather allows it because it's like perfect temperature, fall riding, perfect dirt, just like so good. And yeah, not so much going on. So I'm really going to focus on learning some new tricks and stuff. Um, I always tell myself I need to learn a trick before I get to book uh, my winter trip, like so that mm -hmm. it's summer. Um, and I think this year, I think I said it's bar spin, maybe. Ooh. Bar spin or a sick Indian air, either or, or maybe both. Would you ever consider doing flips? Uh, yeah, it's never really been on like uh, my bucket list to learn. But now mm. with, when I was riding my new slope bike, I'm like, mm, this feels like a very flippable bike. Yeah. Like it's so light and small. Yeah. I just don't think we have a really good training setup for that in Queenstown. Like mm. uh, I wish there, there was like an indoor park where they had like a flat airbag and then like a what's it called um foam pit and yeah. then like a resi or something here they do have an airbag set up on fridays but it's like a really big jump so i'm like it's Ooh. pretty intimidating to flip like to flip yeah. it because i'm like i'd rather if it was like a bit smaller it'd yeah. be more i'm like i'm already so scared going upside down so um yeah it is scary it's scary like everything that you do yeah. to me is amazingly I, scary i have practiced backflips too like on an airbag before <laughs> and it was like this like mini ramp thing and it was to a flat bag airbag and uh, uh that was good after a while i got it around it took me quite a long time to get it around but i realized it's not it's not that scary like it didn't hurt landing upside down i'm yeah. like it's fine yeah. um okay. yeah. but i guess also depends on the airbag you're very brave, friend. Oh. You're very brave. <laughs> um, so Sometimes. speaking of, go ahead. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm not. You are very brave. Um, speaking of um, progressing and writing and doing those types of tricks, I often ask this question of every single person I have on the podcast. 
And that is, what is the best, worst advice you've ever gotten on a mountain bike? So it's like, it's so bad that it's the best advice you've ever gotten. That is so bad. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Uh... I think you've probably gotten a few because the look on your face, you're like, which one do I choose from? <laughs> well, it's hard to, I'm like, I've probably got a lot, but I like can't think about one now that I get put on the spot. Uh, it's you like if someone asks me, what's your favorite band? I'm like, oh, no, 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 And if you don't remember, that's totally fine. But uh, watch, you're going to message me later and you're going to be like, Nia, this is the best worst advice I've ever I'm gonna, I'm going to remember when I'm going to bed tonight and overthinking <laughs> stuff and then I'll be like, now I know. But... <laughs> Yeah, best worst advice. Mm. A lot of people say, like, people tell them best to just lean advice. back. Like, that's oh, bad yeah. advice. Like, lean back, you know? Or don't yeah. use your front brake. Well, I have gotten a lot of uh, dumb advice. Like, like when I learned suis, my friend was like, don't worry about pinching the seat. Just let go. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a pretty, that's a bad one. That was just a bad advice. I'm like, I, I think there's like one role to do a no hander and it's a pinch your seat. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that was just a bad advice or yeah. That's a pretty bad one. Actually, That's a pretty bad people one. People have given me some, I just kind of probably forgot about it. Um, yeah, it's all good. It happens. I think that's actually a really bad one. I think I'm yeah. going to say that is your best, worst advice you've ever received. Okay. So yeah, Don't that's the best, worst. Seat. I was thinking yeah. about the worst, best advice. Okay. Best, no. worst. It is one. confusing when I say it. I try and like present it in yeah, a way. Okay. I got to yeah, do that, that separately. And, yeah. Just, just look. Yeah. When I tried backflips, just look back. It's just in the head. No, it's, it's not. It's in your hips. It's in your feet. Like doing a backflip is like, it's not just looking back. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's gonna get you nowhere. I even know that. Yeah, I tried to do talk no handers, and also they just said, just let go, just throw it and let go. I'm like, mm, nope. no, no, I think I should get to talk first before. I don't know. I like to do everything in steps, like yeah, like with the no foot can. I'm like first no footer, and then the tap, and then the throw, and then you feel confident, confident on the like. The one step and then you move on next one so but that's smart because then you know how to piece it together right like you got to do one thing at a time i think that's smart yeah just hucking it i think i don't know it, it's not really learning for me you might do mm -hmm. it but it's like did you really learn how to do it or yeah, yeah. i don't know yeah but. i get it um so i'm gonna throw some rapid fire questions at you you have like two seconds to answer okay okay this is how it's going to go. And some of these I kind of think we already know because um, you already mentioned this. So clipped or flats? Flats. Tech Max. or flow? Flow. Downhill or enduro? Downhill. Favorite place to ride? Uh, A-line in Whistler. Chamois or no chamois? No chamois. <laughs> but I wish I wore one yesterday. Oh my god. I just got laser down there and then I was sitting on the seat and I'm like, oh, it really hurts. Oh girl, that would have been so painful. Yeah, yeah. And also some other things as well didn't help with the pain. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Things we can't really talk about live on the yeah, podcast. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> offline, offline, offline. Um <laughs> Oh, shit. Where did my list go? I had like a whole list of things for you. Okay. Uh, well, pedal or no pedal? I've obviously no pedal. No. Um, <laughs> and do you prefer doing jump tricks? Well, I guess I was going to say, or whips. Whips is kind of a jump trick anyway. Well, well, not really. Yeah, I think swinging the fuck off it and doing a big fat whip just feels a lot better than anything else. Oh, yeah? So you prefer doing the big whips? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, you're pretty good at that stuff anyway. I think you are pretty freaking good at that stuff. Um, do you usually ride with people? Like, do you have anything planned where sometimes you'll invite people like in your Instagram, say, hey, I'm going to ride here today. Uh, come ride. Is that something you do? Or Yeah, I, I used to do it, but no one kind of showed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i wanted what? to do these bad bitch club rides and it was just to bring like and guys could come too but i was like well mainly girls but anyone can come uh but just to bring like more of a like i have a big girl crew in queenstown to ride with and i love having that and i just wanted to get more girls that could find other girls to ride with like any skill yeah. level and yeah, so I set it up more for that and we did some easy stuff. And some people I did last year, some people showed up, but sometimes I was like, yep, it's just me here. And I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> uh, no. so, and then I kind of wasn't so motivating then. And then my cars kept breaking down and I'm like, oh, I can't, I don't have, I don't know if I can be there at that time that I'm yeah. saying. So I might do it again, but only if more people promise to show up. All right, people, you guys that are listening and watching, like, go hang out with Emma. Jeez, I, I would be there in a second if I could to ride yeah, with you. Yeah, people would pay for it. And I'm like, well, I don't know if yeah. people would. Maybe some. Crazy. You should totally do something. You should totally do, but like, a fundraiser it's nice of to, some like, kind. Yeah. I would like to give back to the community and, like, I don't just make people froth on bikes and that's why i mean i just ride because it's fun and more people yeah just yeah 100 kind of vibe i want to spread so i love that so much do you have any plans or would you like to ride in like dark fest and a few of those um events that they are now allowing women to compete in uh yeah i mean I think now I feel so much more comfortable on big jumps because I trust my bike i know it's good just Mm -hmm. You know, if the jump is built well, it's, you know, it's, and your bike set up, I know how to jump. So it would be really sick to ride some, some bigger jump yeah. events. Um, yeah, it's a bit intimidating. You know, it's good to like, I'm like, what is this size really? But when you're at an event as well and with other girls, you just yeah. like push each other yeah. and there's always no pressure. They're like, like every event I've been to. It's like, if you don't want to do it, you don't do it. If you want to do yeah. it, do it. Like, yeah. Um, so it's nice to have that. And so, yeah, it would be fun. I don't know exactly what events, but maybe some like fest series that are like maybe on the smaller I don't, or I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Just yeah. There's, some there's big, some stuff coming some down jumps, at the end of the like, year, I think. Um, I yeah, would I really think I have any events planned, but it would be fun with some bigger, bigger jump jams and stuff like that. Yeah. We should, we should keep an eye out. I should send you some things that are, that I know are going to be happening pretty soon. Yeah. Um, yeah. I need to plan. I never even uh, um, answered the travel question really. Cause I started talking about other stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess I haven't really decided where I'm going to go over winter and I just want to go somewhere where I can ride like big, smooth, nice jumps. Come without here. Without breaking the bank. Come California? here. Well, you can go to, to uh, Mammoth. <laughs> Or you can go to Utah, or you can go to New Mexico and go to Angel Fire Bike Park. Okay, like, yeah, I've, I've heard about crazy. this bike park. I really want to go to Ch yeah. uh, Chile for to like La Roca yeah. Bike Park and where that like what was that event called Toro Nada? That looked really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I haven't. Um, I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, that's it's like at it's amazing Pitts, though. Park, Pitts Park in in Chile, but yeah, I might go to Chile in like November. I think. Because no they have deal. summer no when we have summer either. here. So yeah, that's in the Southern Hemisphere. We're going to be out there in December for a few weeks in Australia. So you should come to Australia and yeah. hang out with us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll have I to mean, go yeah. to New Zealand, but I don't think that's in the cards next year. You should make it. You should make at least a, a weekend in Queenstown. Oh, I agree with you. I'm going to hit you up when we come to Queenstown. I want to do that heli heli biking that you did like the last few yeah. days dude that's freaking insane yeah it's really fun really good to just like not having to pedal anywhere or yeah uh, my housemate he works for a heli biking company so that's very convenient for me yeah it is very convenient <laughs> yeah 
Tell the truth. Is that why he's your housemate? No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just no kidding. The, the reason is because I could have my ducks here. Oh yeah, you do. You have yeah. ducks. Yeah, I. Uh, and also, like, so where I'm in now, it's pretty small, but like, it's like a sleep out. So I don't know what you call it. It's just a room, but outside of the house. Mm -hmm. And I really like having my own space, even though this is small. I like feeling like no one is right next to me, or like on the yeah. other side of the wall. Like, I don't want to have that feeling. I like to feel like I'm here alone. So that's the reason. Yeah. And also, I was like, can three ducks live here too? And he said, like, yep. I'm like, <laughs> I'll move in. So that's that awesome. Reason. That's so good. Um, I don't want to keep you too long. I know we've been chatting for about an hour and I really appreciate your time and you coming on and chatting with us. I cannot wait to watch you ride in person. Like it's going to happen. I have to watch you like whip and do all the crazy <laughs> shit that you're doing. Um, it would be awesome if you came here this year too. Let me know. Keep me updated. If you're ever in California, you got a place to stay. So let me yeah, know. Yeah, California is dope. And um, a lot of good tattoo artists that I want to go to there. There so, are a lot of really good and tattoo good writing artists. too. So a lot of good stuff there. I've been, I got to talk to you about this tattoo. I've been planning. I need to finish my sleeve. And one of my tattoo artists, like so good. I need to save some dough though, because it's a little pricey. I mean, worth it. Right. Yeah. But you know, worth pricey. it. But yeah. Yeah. You, I mean, you wear it for the rest of your life. So it's like yeah, an accessory exactly. and art piece like yeah but it is but you still need to pay for it so you still need to save up for yeah it. i mean it's a piece of art they're artists you know i don't mind paying for it it's just saving up for it so yeah um you're awesome thank you so much for taking the time and chatting with us i'm gonna leave all of uh emma's information in the description whether you're listening to this on um spotify apple Podcasts, or if you're watching it on youtube um hit her up go follow her watch all all the amazing shit this girl's got going on. And I can't wait to see the more progression you do in the next year. Like that's just going to be insane. Insane. I want to see you at Rampage. That's what I want to see you at Rampage. The second they open it up for women to compete, like we're going to be there interviewing you in Utah. That would be dope. Like yeah. that would be amazing. All right, dude, have a great night. We'll chat to you soon. Thank you for joining tonight. Thank you. See you later. Bye.